Tell me exactly what's happened. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. He's got tape around his legs. He's hungry and he's thirsty. Okay. This 911 call that you just heard is about to alter the course of a family's life echoed through the halls of justice, exposing a dark truth. Ruby Frankie, a once beloved family vlogger on YouTube and her former therapist turned business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, found themselves in the grip of law enforcement. Accused of heinous offenses, they both faced six felony charges of severe mistreatment of Ruby's own 12-year-old son, Russell, and his 10-year-old sister, Eve. I will only say it one more time, and then you're going to lose the privilege to eat dinner. Ruby and Jody would then shortly be arrested after this phone call. The once perfect family's world has shattered, leaving a trail of heartache and disbelief. In 2015, she and her husband, Kevin, embarked on a journey into the world of YouTube, creating their channel, Eight Passengers. The dynamic duo quickly captured the hearts of viewers and worked tirelessly to cultivate their brand amassing a staggering following of over 2 million subscribers. Their dedication and creativity propelled them, solidifying their status as a powerhouse in the family vlogging world. A powerhouse indeed, with a weak foundation. See, as some of Ruby's loyal viewers were parents themselves, not all could be easily deceived by her actions. And keen observers began to pick up on her questionable behavior. Fellow YouTubers and viewers alike raised the alarm over the troubling signs they noticed in Ruby's videos, sparking a wave of concern and scrutiny within the online community. Accusations and criticism now followed around the popular vlogger. In one particular instance, Ruby shared a video featuring her youngest daughter, Eve, which was six years old at the time in the video. It was revealed that Eve had forgotten to pack her lunch for school causing concern for her teacher. Despite the teacher's efforts to address the situation by contacting Ruby and requesting that she bring lunch for her daughter, Ruby appeared unfazed by the urgency of the matter. Rather than prioritizing her daughter's well-being, Ruby seemingly viewed the teacher's request as a form of punishment for Eve, showcasing a concerning lack of empathy and responsibility towards her own child's basic needs. If you cut one more thing in my house, I'm going to take the scissors, look at me, and I'm going to cut its head off. Amidst all the chaos, nearly 20,000 individuals signed a Change.org petition demanding an investigation to the Frankies. Child Protective Services was subsequently contacted, prompting the Division of Child and Family Services in Utah to conduct a thorough visit to their home. Although the agency spoke with all the children and inspected the premises, the case was ultimately closed due to insufficient evidence to abstain allegations of abuse. Ruby began to post less content on the eight passengers paid, leading to its eventual deletion and removal from YouTube. Around the same time, Ruby started collaborating with Utah mental health counselor and fellow Mormon Jody Hildebrandt. Jody was involved in a life coaching and self-improvement business called Connections Classroom. Ironically, some of these coachings were actually on how to treat and raise children. Jody and Ruby were both well acquainted with each other, having posted dozens of videos together under the Connections Classroom name and Moms of Truth name. Several former clients have noted that the teachings of Connections Classroom are based on the principles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, commonly referred to as the LDS or the Mormon Church. Nevertheless, these two women seem to be partners in crime. Viewers of the Eight Passengers YouTube channel were proactive and downloading certain videos that struck them as peculiar or potentially abusive. Some of these videos were actually removed by Ruby from her channel as time passed. One of these videos exposed her taking her eldest son's bed away from him for months and sending him to a corrections camp for playing a prank on his younger brother. Do you think it's funny because... And then I walked out. If you think it's funny, then you... That was seven months ago. Maybe you need longer without a bedroom. It has come to light that Ruby and her husband, Kevin Frank, have been separated for an extended period with Kevin officially filing for divorce in November of 2023, after a year of separation. Despite seemingly wanting to distance himself from Ruby, 
Kevin insists that he has always been interested in maintaining a relationship with his children. Despite their nearly year-long separation, Ruby reached out to Kevin first when she found herself in trouble and in need of assistance, as confirmed by Kevin's lawyer. She, of course, is talking about Russell escaping Jody's house and seeking help from a neighbor. Eventually, the Frankie's house would be searched by police in search of the rest of the children. Police claim the house was empty. Later in the day, it was discovered that Ruby's two middle children were actually found at the home of one of Jody's employees. She was briefly detained and questioned. Ruby and Jody would ultimately receive the same sentence. Four counts of aggravated child each count requiring one to 15 years in prison. And on December 18th, Ruby appeared in court to plead guilty to four of the six counts. She confessed to disturbing acts, including holding a child's head underwater, covering a child's mouth and nose to prevent them from breathing, and kicking a child while wearing boots. With the sentencing both women received, they could both receive up to 60 years. However, both will serve only 30 years max due to Utah law that caps the imprisonment time on consecutive sentences. Here's a quote from Sherry Frankie, Ruby's oldest daughter. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell police and CPS for years about this, and I'm so glad they finally decided to step up. Sherry Frankie. 